Hey loves, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this beautiful makeup look perfect for Valentine's Day. Stay watching. First off, I'm gonna start off by just making sure that my face is clean, removing any dirt or oil that I may have. And because I'm going in with a matte foundation, I like to go in with the Moisturizing Skin Primer. And the primer that I'm applying all over my face is the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer. And once that is done, I'm actually gonna moisturize my lips as well. This is just a 99 cent lip gloss that I got from my beauty supply store. I like to moisturize my lips as well if I'm going in with a matte lipstick. Now that I have all of that done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And the brow pencil is one of the Maybelline pencils in the color dark brown. I like to start off by drawing a couple of lines in the front to resemble hair-like strokes. Once I have those lines filled in, then I like to just shape out the brow. Once I get the brows to the shape that I like, then I just like to go in and fill it in. And whatever I do to one eye, I immediately go over and do to the next eye. And don't worry if your brows aren't perfect in the end because you're going to use concealer in just a second to clean it up. Then I'm going to take an eyebrow spoolie and I'm going to go in and just basically make the brows not so harsh. And now that that is done, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Concealer and it is in the shade Warm Honey. I'll list that down below as well. And basically what I'm doing now is defining the shape of the eyebrows that I like. Um, I kind of want them to be a little bit bigger today only because I'm not doing any eyeshadow. So I want my focus to be on my skin and my brows. So now I'm just going to go on with a makeup sponge or a beauty blender and I'm just going to blend out the concealer that we just applied. You want to make sure that this concealer is blended out. And then I'm going to go on to the top of my brows and do the exact same thing. I'm going to use another 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. And I'm using the shade that is close to my skin tone. You want to use a color that is close to your skin tone so that you don't have like a white brow or your brows aren't very contrasting. And then once you have that done to your liking, I say go in and take a brush, a blending brush, and just blend out the concealer. I like to blend out the concealer on top and bottom. I like to have a flawless base because we're not doing any eyeshadow. So I want the foundation or the skin to look like skin and be flawless. Next step is I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. It's about $14 to $15. I absolutely love this foundation. You can get it at Walmart, Ulta, Target. Basically any of your local drugstores will have this foundation. It basically makes your skin look like skin. It doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup and it's very lightweight even though it's a full coverage foundation. So basically I just like to apply that all over my face. You want your base to be flawless cause we are not doing any eyeshadow. So please blend, blend, blend and make sure you're applying this all over your face. And the next step, I'm gonna go in with another 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. And this is in the shade Deep Olive. I like to apply that underneath my eyelids, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, chin, and above my lip. I actually like to let this sit for about a minute or two. And while it's sitting, I'm gonna go in with another e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, and I'm gonna contour with this shade, and this is in the shade Rich Chocolate. So I like to put a few drops down the bridge of my nose, my forehead. I like to carve out my cheeks and my chin. And once I have that applied, I actually like to go ahead and immediately immediately blend that out. I like to blend out my nose first because I don't want a harsh line on my nose. And then after that, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and blend out the contour shade on my forehead, my cheeks, and chin. And basically, you're just going to keep blending till you get it to your liking. And once that's done, I like to go on with the makeup sponge again. And I like to blend out the concealer that we had sitting underneath our eyes. I also like to apply it above my eyelids just so that my eyelids can be as flawless as my skin. Once again, we aren't wearing any eyeshadow in this look. So you want to make sure that your base is very, very flawless and blended out. And just keep doing this until you feel that it looks the way that you want it to look. I 
I think I pretty much have it the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead with the next step. And the next step is I'm going to be adding a lighter color for the under eye area. And this is the CoverGirl Warm Honey Under Eye Concealer. And I used this concealer when I carved out my brows earlier. And once again, I like to let it sit. So while it's sitting, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Glamour Bronze in the shade Trailblazer. And I'm going to apply this to the places that we apply the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Basically, you're going to use this shade to contour your face. So you're going to carve out your nose, your forehead, your cheeks and the chin. And now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend out that concealer that we had sitting. I just love to let the concealer sit. I just feel like it gives a full coverage look. It covers up those bags, any dark spots that you may have. And I also like to apply it to my eyelids. I, once again, you want your eyelids to be as flawless as your face, being that we aren't wearing any eyeshadow. Basically, just keep blending until you get this to your liking. And I'm going to make sure my nose is perfect. I felt it was a little harsh, so I wanted to touch that up a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder. And it is in the shade Deep. And basically, I'm going to apply that to my eyes first. I want to immediately apply that so that the concealer doesn't crease. Applying this powder will help with creasing. And I also like to carve out my nose to make your nose look smaller. Like this is how I get my nose snatched. I actually let the powder sit for just a little bit. I don't like to let it bake a lot, but I like to let my nose part actually sit. And basically, I'm just going to continue to blend out the setting powder that we had. And you just want to make sure everything's blended really nice. And now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with the next step. And the next step is going to be, I'm going to be using a different setting powder. It's going to be the Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. And I like to carve out with my cheeks with a uh, translucent so it doesn't have any color to it. And down the bridge of my nose. And while I let that bridge of my nose sit, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer that we were using. And I'm going to add a little bit color back to my face. I still felt like I was a little bit washed out. So please be aware of that. You don't want to be too washed out. Then I'm going to just blend out the setting powder that I had on my nose. Then I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place, the Zulu by Zuvius. And I'm going to be using, even though this is an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the top shade. It's an orange color. And I use this as a blush. And I actually use it just to bring some color back to my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Color Perfect Highlighting Powder in the shade Gilded Glow. This also brings back color to my face. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Do Me Setting Spray. I like to drench my face in this. And once I drench, it, drench my face, I like to just go in with the Beauty Blender and just blend everything out. And as you can see, it brought back color. And now I'm just going to take that makeup wipe and I'm going to wipe off my lips because I'm getting ready to start the lipstick process. These are the Ioni lashes. I actually picked these up from Dollar Tree. They were trending on TikTok. I actually found them in my local Dollar Tree, so I picked them up. And they're really nice, so I would definitely say get you some of these Dollar Tree lashes if you can. And I guess I'm struggling up in the box set right now. I might actually be putting the glue on, so I'm going to be putting the glue on the lashes and letting them sit. And while they're sitting, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a dark brown lip liner and I'm going to outline my lips. And now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the CoverGirl mascara. I have that link down below in the description box. Please put mascara on if you're putting falsies on. It just makes them blend so much better. And next, I'm going to just apply the lashes. And the glue has probably been sitting for about a minute or two. So they should just easily pop on. Like, y'all, look at these Dollar Tree lashes. They look amazing. I mean, they're not the best lashes, but for a dollar, you definitely cannot beat that. Lashes make your face look totally different. And next, I'm going to go in with the Milani red lipstick it is in the shade amore and i will link that down below in the description box as well this is a matte liquid lipstick so 
in a few minutes, you're going to see it actually dry down to a matte finish. I absolutely love this lipstick. You can get it from your local drugstore. Walmart actually has them and I think they're about six to seven dollars. And now that I have it on, I'm just going to pat my lips together to make the lipstick blend in. Then I'm going to go in with the James Morphe palette, James Charles Morphe palette. And there is this red color in it right there in the middle. It's kind of like a reddish orange color. And I'm going to plop that underneath my eyes and my waterline. I love adding colors to my waterline. I feel like they just make the makeup look so much more better. You took this everyday makeup look to a whole glam look just by applying the red underneath your eyes. This look is perfect for Valentine's Day. You can put any color you want to choose. If you don't do the red lip, you can, you know, put purple lips if you want and do the purple underneath the eyes. This is a very versatile look. Perfect for date night. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Anglola highlighting powder. Got this from the crayon case. It is amazing. I'm just going to apply a little bit to the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead and chin. This highlighting powder, this glow and Glola, it is bomb. Like it makes my skin look amazing. This is the, the little extra, the little wow factor that this makeup look needed. And basically you're done. And this is what the final look looks like. Hopefully you like it. If so, hit that thumbs up for me, please. Also, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.